All right, this is Common Denominator back. This is a sad one. How do you feel when people say, this little girl is acting black? I want you to think about that for a second. She's acting black. That should tell you everything. I could stop the video right now. That should tell you everything you need to know. She's acting black and she's on Dr. Phil. She's seeing a TV psychologist. This is what people are saying. She's acting black. How did this happen? Well, I'm gonna tell you how it happened. When black kids act dysfunctional, some people think it's normal. We're so used to seeing black kids acting out. World star hip hop. Um, just YouTube in general. Uh, on the news and fighting in school. All kind of nonsense, all kind of dysfunction. And they get it from their parents. But nobody wants to acknowledge this. But what I'm going to show you now, I'm going to show you a juxtapositioning of this, this white girl who is acting like a complete hood rat, who is a complete hood rat. She's not acting. She is one. Because she was converted into, she was, she was uh, brought into that culture through a medium and that medium is the music and this is what I've been saying the whole time the music is why African American kids are in the ghetto are the way they are the way African American people are the way they are and and no one wants to point out that this is abnormal no one wants to say anything. Everyone wants to act like this isn't a problem. Black people have become so desensitized to the garbage ghetto culture that they hardly even think twice when they see black kids acting this way. But when we see this little white girl, 13 years old, 13 years old, her mom doesn't talk like that. No one in her family talks like that. How did she get this way? The music. It's the music. It doesn't, it's not, it's not rocket science. But the people who are making the music, the rappers, they try to deflect and say, oh, it's not the music. You need to raise your kids the right way. True, it is the music though. You do need to raise your kids the right way, but it is the music. Let's be honest. This little girl is listening to garbage. Garbage in, garbage out. First learned about this uh, Cash Me Outside. How about that? Little, uh, little girl, little hood rat. You know, I'm gonna go easy on her. Um, she's a kid, if she was an adult, I'd let her, I'd let it rip. She's a kid, man. And, and just like the black kids who were being affected by this garbage music, here we have an example, a clear example of ghetto seepage. The sewer that is the ghetto has, is seeping through the headphones and the airwaves into the minds of these young kids and look at what it's creating a little little terrorist little white hood rat ghetto terrorist and it's not really it's not 100 percent her fault her mother's to blame she probably doesn't have a father i haven't seen i didn't see the father that's part of it and that's that's part of the reason why a lot of black kids are the same way they don't have a father to, to regulate 
but sometimes when they do have a father he's been raised in the ghetto himself now you got a bullet in both feet people you know the culture just shoots people just shoot themselves in the foot when they when they listen to this music it's garbage it's garbage i mean look at what it produces you know what it's sad i've said this before but you know it's i'm gonna touch on it again when when we see it taking place in the black community we gloss over it as if it's normal oh this is just black people this is this is who they are this is who and i say they because that's not my culture i don't i don't I don't ascribe to that. I'm not owning that. That's not me. I don't come from that. But I desperately want to help them. And the only way to do that is to talk to them the same way Dr. Phil is talking to her and the mom and to try to get those handcuffs, those mental handcuffs off of her brain, off of their minds. The only way is through talking. Sometimes they bring these little ghetto kids to the jail and have the have the inmates try to s- scare them straight. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's the music. The music is the catalyst. It's cre- it's spreading the dysfunction. I don't know why people can't see this. It- it's so obvious. I'm not a genius. I'm not a genius. It's the music. The music. The ghetto is exporting its rudeness. Ebonics. This I don't care rebellious attitude. Criminality. All through music. Music is a medium. It's a medium. You have to protect the avenues of the soul, the ears, the eyes. Okay? You have to protect the avenues of the soul. This is what happens. By beholding, you become changed. It's the music, man. I've been telling people. This little girl, she steals cars, she fights. She's rude. She speaks like an escaped slave. It's obvious where this came from. It's obvious. So I want to say congratulations, hip hop. Congratulations, rap music. You've succeeded in spreading your filth to other cultures. You are now ruining other people the same way you ruin black kids and black people. You know, what's interesting about this is that black people, when we see this type of culture um, being portrayed, when we see this, this ghetto-ness, a lot of us know that it's abnormal, but we think it's funny. We think it's entertaining. And, and, and apparently other people do too. And they love it. And look at how they're treating this this white girl, this little hood rat. They are putting her, I mean, all, all over TV, giving her deals, endorsement. I mean, they are encouraging this behavior. This is crazy. Making hood ratchetry into a it's it's they're marketing it and they're they're praising it and they're accelerating it they're it's it's insanity we are witnessing the potential collapse of black culture and this and the the aftershocks in other cultures now but see Look at what this white mother did. You see, when white people see this, they recognize it for what it is. You see, because they have two classes of people within white society. They have the trailer trash. Okay. And I don't particularly like 
particularly like to refer to anybody as trash. When we say trash, when I say trash, I'm talking about your behavior, your mentality, not you as not a person as a human being. No human being is trash. OK, I'm talking about their mentality, their behavior, their worldview, how they look at life is trash. OK, their actions. All right. So we we look at we look at how white society approaches this and they treat it as an illness, as an abnormality, because that's what it is. It's an abnormality. Dr. Phil knows it. The mother knows it. But you see, in white society, they put you on the right. Okay, here you go. Off to the trailer park, you go. They put you into that group. They have normal and then they have abnormal. But see, in black America, we try to unite at all costs. Okay? We try to absorb all of this ghetto hood rat, hood roach behavior, all this dysfunctional behavior. We try to put it under the umbrella of black. All things black. This is black culture. Take it or leave it. This is what it is. No, 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 no. This is not what it is. This is one segment of black culture. The abnormal segment. This is why I said in my last video, you know, when I was talking about Sarah Sutton Seti and his trolls and we, we need a separation of black culture culture we have to have a clear line this is where they go and this is where the normal people go that's it we don't have to we don't have to to be obsessed you know uh, uh, we don't have to be super rude to them to the others to the abnormal group but we need to let them know where they stand this is where you are we're not about this life that's your life you own that uh and see, there's a certain segment of these people who will listen and realize that the way they behave is problematic, that the music is causing problems. You can wake these people up. They can be woken up. OK, and that's what I'm attempting to do. Some people say it's a losing battle, but I think it can be won, and I think it can be won in a generation. And the way to win them is through showing them the disparity between what's normal and what's abnormal. And once they look at it enough and once they hear it and once they see it and experience it, then at that time they can make a decision. And I believe some of them will come out of that because they'll see it as dysfunctional and they'll become productive respectable members of the black community others will stay in it heck look at white society they can't even get all those white people in line half of them are criminals and kids out of wedlock you know alcoholics and just dysfunctional and it's sad but see they have a system they have a way to work it out they have a way to work on their culture what disturbs me is how we just treat it like it's normal in African America. And it's not normal. And this is what I'm this is why I'm here. I'm here to 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 show you how dysfunctional behavior needs to be called dysfunctional behavior. It's that simple. So, yeah, the white people, they took her right to a psychologist. Because it's abnormal. And, and you have people saying that she acts like she's black. Well, she's acting like hood, a hood rat. A hood rat. Yeah, a hood rat. Okay? She's acting like a hood rat. Like, like, and she's 13. She's acting like a hood rat because she's been listening to hood rat music. She's been listening. Okay, she steals cars because she's been listening to hood rat, hood roach 
criminal music, thug music. That's it. It's very simple. It's the music. Listen, folks, it's not rocket science. Tell your friends to stop listening to this trash. Don't let their kids listen to it. Let them listen to good black music, okay? You can listen to black music without listening to this trash. Keep this away from them. This is poison. Your young men are going to end up getting shot by the cops because they're out doing something stupid. They're going to end up in jail, okay, because they're out doing something stupid. Your young women will be nothing but thoughts, okay, because the music programs them to be that way. This little girl, if she can't be fixed, she's going to end up, she's going to end up in a real tough situation. And her mom knows that. That's why she has a sense to bring her to Dr. Phil. And I, and I hope, I hope they can fix her. And it's all about talking to her. She needs psychologists. And the same thing goes for the black community. We need to talk to our young people. We need to educate them on this nonsense music. We need to tell them that this is abnormal. It's abnormal. It's criminal music that they're playing on TV. Look, let me, let me say this. Whenever you have an album that has parental advisory, um, parental guidance advisory on the front of the album, the little warning, just know that the reason why parents are, are, are encouraged to to do their job and not let their kids listen to it or just be aware that this that that this is material that could be potentially harmful to young minds is because they want to protect you okay but see even though they play this stuff on the radio and they bleep out all the bad words it's the general message in the music that that doesn't consist of profanities that that is bad that is casting a bad influence on these young people okay man this is rough this is black americans are exporting trash to the world and it's called ghetto seepage it's getting out there and it's ruining your kids. Common denominator.